How can anal sex be a way to explore and express sexuality creatively and safely? What is the role of emotional connection in enjoying sex? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Anal sex can be a way to explore and express sexuality creatively and safely by experimenting with new sensations, positions, and roles. It can foster open communication and trust between partners by sharing fantasies, desires, and boundaries, and working together to create pleasurable and satisfying experiences. Emotional connection is crucial for enjoying sex by creating intimacy, trust, and communication between partners. This connection enriches the sexual experience, allowing for a more open expression of desires and strengthening the emotional bond, leading to deeper satisfaction. Eye contact. Eye contact during foreplay can increase intimacy and emotional connection between partners, creating a sense of complicity and shared excitement. Fantasies and role-playing. Foreplay can include the exploration of sexual fantasies and role-playing, these can range from romantic scenarios to more intense and dominant roles, depending on the couple's preferences. Favorite classics. Although preferences may vary, some classic sexual positions like missionary, doggy style, and cowgirl are often popular among couples due to their versatility and the depth of penetration they offer. Female domination fetishism. Some men experience sexual arousal by being dominated by women, a phenomenon known as femdom. This can include activities such as humiliation, bondage, and foot worship. Female masturbation. Although historically taboo, female masturbation is a common and healthy practice that can help women explore their bodies and experience sexual pleasure. Female orgasm in mammals. While the female orgasm is common in humans, it is less common in other mammals. Its function in reproduction remains a topic of debate. Feminist pornography. A feminist pornography movement has emerged, seeking to create content that represents female sexuality in a more realistic and empowered way, challenging established gender norms in the industry. Focus on consent. Although written centuries ago, the Kama Sutra emphasizes the importance of mutual consent and respect for personal boundaries, reflecting modern values regarding sexual ethics and informed consent. Food fetishes. Some people experience sexual arousal by incorporating food into their intimate encounters, such as using chocolate, strawberries, or whipped cream during foreplay. Food fetishism. Food fetishism involves sexual attraction to certain foods or eating practices. This can manifest in erotic games involving food, such as using chocolate or strawberries during sexual activity. Foreplay. During pregnancy, foreplay can be especially beneficial during pregnancy, as it can help relieve stress, improve blood circulation, and strengthen the emotional bond between partners, even when sexual relations may change due to physical discomfort. Frequency. According to studies, around 50 to 60 percent of women masturbate regularly at some point in their lives. Gender differences. While anorgasmia is more commonly associated with women, it can also affect men. In men, it is known as male anorgasmia. Gender reassignment surgery, or gender confirmation surgery, is a procedure some individuals choose to align their body with their gender identity. It involves a series of surgeries and therapies. Genetic factors. Some studies suggest that premature ejaculation may have a genetic component, meaning that certain individuals may have a hereditary predisposition to experience this issue. Global industry. The pornography industry is a global industry that generates billions of dollars in revenue each year, with productions ranging from high-budget productions to amateur content. Gonorrhea is a bacterial infection that can affect the genitals, rectum, and throat. If left untreated, it can lead to serious complications such as pelvic inflammatory disease in women and epididymitis in men. 
Group sex fantasies. Group sex fantasies involve sexual encounters with multiple people at the same time, whether in threesomes, orgies, or gangbangs. These fantasies can be explored through imagination or consensually in real life. Guided meditation. Guided meditation can be an effective technique to induce a state of deep relaxation during foreplay, which can increase sensory receptivity and sexual pleasure. Hand fetishism involves sexual attraction towards hands, either admiring the aesthetic appearance of a partner's hands or engaging in erotic activities involving touch or manipulation of hands. Health benefits. Foreplay not only increases sexual arousal, but can also have physical and emotional health benefits for women, such as stress reduction, mood improvement, and strengthening emotional bonds with the partner. Health professionals. It is always advisable to speak with health professionals for specific information about sexual health and receive personalized guidance. Height fetishism. This fetish involves sexual attraction to people of certain heights, either a attraction to very tall people, giantophilia, or people of short stature, microphilia. Highly sensitive area. The area around the anus contains numerous nerve endings, making it a highly sensitive and pleasurable zone for many women. History of condoms. Condoms have a long history dating back to ancient Rome, where they were made from animal intestines. Today, modern condoms are made of latex or polyurethane and are an effective means of protecting against STIs and unwanted pregnancies. History of vibration. The use of vibrating devices for sexual stimulation dates back to the 19th century, initially created as medical devices to treat female hysteria they became popular sexual toys. Holistic approach. Addressing anorgasmia often requires a holistic approach that tackles both the physical and emotional psychological aspects of the individual. This may involve exploring the relationship dynamics, working on sexual communication, and reducing stress in everyday life. Hygiene. Hygiene is important before engaging in any sexual activity, including anal sex. Some people choose to shower beforehand to feel more comfortable. Imagination stimulating positions. Women may enjoy sexual positions that awaken their imagination and fantasy, such as role playing or reenacting erotic scenes, allowing them to explore different aspects of their sexuality. Impact of pornography. Pornography can influence people's attitudes and sexual behaviors but it can also create unrealistic expectations about sex and the human body. Impact on relationship. Anorgasmia can have a significant impact on the romantic relationship as it may lead to frustration, discomfort, and feelings of sexual dissatisfaction in both partners. Impact on relationships. Premature ejaculation can have a significant impact on intimate relationships, causing stress, frustration, and resentment in the partner if not properly addressed. Impact on self-esteem. Premature ejaculation can significantly affect a man's self-esteem and confidence, leading to feelings of inadequacy and frustration regarding sexual performance. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality,